vlogging, driving. Um, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to talk to you guys because I wasn't able to talk to you guys yesterday when I took the first haul to the Goodwill. But now I'm on my way back to Greenville for uh, Bella's second appointment this week. And I got some more things to drop off. The first pile, y'all should have seen, you know, mainly pens, markers, um, and books and devotions. Uh, this time I have four books, one devotion, and I have a couple Bibles that every time I come this way, I feel led to bring them, but I got mixed feelings about them because they're probably one of them I don't one of them is just a matter of I hope it doesn't get damaged because it's a large Bible but I'm gonna show you when I stop um, the next one the next two are journaling Bibles and they were probably my top five and I'm assuming that this is a test to truly see where my heart is and am I willing to give up everything. Also, those two Bibles were the ones that I mentioned that I wanted to give away, but because I've been really personal in them, I decided to change my mind. But I did mention in the video that the Goodwill can get the Bibles because they don't know who, who it is, you know. And I know some of may say that's not fair, especially if you really wanted the Bible, but it makes perfect sense to me to give it to a complete stranger than someone that knows you because then there's no judgment. Um, but um, I'm in Greenville now. I'm on the outskirts. I am feeling indifferent. Not because of the Bibles per se, but um, I guess, you know, when you put your neck out there and he's like, okay, God, for Christ I live, for Christ I die. And that's so weird. I just saw my husband's work truck. Well, I don't know if it's he is, but it's the company. But anywho, the ADHD. <laughs> I truly, truly want to be an example to everyone. And I want to be clear that um, I'm not telling everybody to go home and get rid of every single thing you own. I am saying, let's start with the basis. That's what I did. This has been a journey and a process. And some of you guys have been following me since the beginning. And I'm going to try my best to make a playlist of this entire process so people can understand. Because I know new people will just come on and be like, Huh? I thought this was a journaling channel, which I still, I'm going to journal, you guys. I, I still like taking notes. I still like sticky note stickers and pens and markers and things of that nature. It's just that in most of these areas, I have come to a place of being content and I'm no longer in the search for like the perfect product. You know what I mean? I feel like my face is still shining. But anyway, so. The two, the three Bibles that I have that I'm gonna show you guys when I stop, or it might be the thumbnail, um, is the Day Spring um, Illustrated Bible, the Inspire Praise, and the Inspire Hair, the Galaxy Pink one. <sighs> that one kind of hurts more than all of them because. I like it. It's purple. Don't get me wrong. My inspired praise was like that drink Bible, but once I got it, after a while, it was like, yeah. And then when I got the inspired prayer, it definitely was like, uh, -uh I really have this. But then I felt weird and stupid because even though it's inspired praise, I could have just literally broke my prayers in the market suit, you know. So 
I don't know because I'm not even 100% sure that I'm supposed to be dropping them off at the Goodwill per se, but it does make sense. Now, the illustrating Bible is definitely going to get dropped off along with the books. I'm trying to drive. Not be nervous. But... But yeah, I just want to really, really, really let you guys know that this is my journey. This is my process. If you are led to do anything, please consult God and make sure that that's him talking to you. And you're not being anxious or, you know, playing follow the leader. Which I'm not saying I'm someone's leader, but you get what I'm saying. Um, my main thing, focus on... I think I like four about five concepts. One, what Bibles do you not use at all? They're just sitting there. Get rid of them. Somebody else can use them. And then how many Bibles that you may have multiple versions of or copies of, get rid of them. How many Bibles do you um, have that are within the same translation? Like for me, I had at least 20 NIVs. I don't need 20 NIVs. I can't use with so many at one time. And now it kind of spilled into the New Living Translation. Like y'all know I love New Living Translation, but it does not make sense to have two of the same Bible. And even though I justified it and I justified it so well, and that's what's kind of scary because it's like, you're willing to tell yourself anything you want to hear for the sake of material things, and that's not okay. If you think long and hard enough, you can justify almost every single thing you have in your home, in your life, including sin. And that's not acceptable behavior. The only justification we should be explaining or worrying about is the justification of forgiveness of our sins through Christ Jesus. Why are we justified? Why are we chosen? But that's where I'm at. The big, the good thing is, I really hope and pray that these Bibles and books are a blessing to someone who can use them. My bookshelf is looking kind of weird, but I'm gonna go home. The goal is narrowing down to what I actually have interest in because I must admit at some point it was just because the books were so cheap and that I was wanting to fill a four or five shelf bookshelf that I just kept grabbing as I went out wasting a lot of money time and energy the next step for me with self-control would be making sure that I stay out of these stores for a while because as of right now I don't have a need for anything and it's gonna be hard because my husband also knows how I feel about these things. And I think I actually did something my husband's truck that time. But the thing now would be um, what, I lost my thought, what was I talking about? The thing now would be that How many is too many? That's the thing, like I was saying, and a lot of people agree with modesty, which kept me from talking about it. How far is too far? You know, how many is too many? Now, for me, I try my best not to put a number out there. And also, I have been trying to give myself grace because I have not been. Like, come on, I came from 70 Bibles. That's a lot. So the fact that I, I, I got rid of rid of over half of them is a blessing. And I should be thanking God for the milestone for the progress. This might be a long vlog by the way. But I'm about to get something to eat from kick out. I'm gonna actually break this up in parts because it's more interesting. So you guys know that um, finally Cookout has a chocolate chip cookie dough milkshake 
I know you guys can't see me. And you guys about to hear me order my favorite cacao tray. Guess, guess in the comment section. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a Southern girl, so what do you think it is? You guys about to hear anyway, so. Yeah. Yes, may I have a barbecue sandwich tray? Um, hush puppies, Cajun fries. A half tea, half lemonade. Anything else for you? That'll be all. Thank you. Everything's going up. Look how trade just to be five dollars and change. That is so. I don't want to say anymore. Um, but. One of the biggest things, I know you guys can't hardly see me, and I'm sorry, but I hope you guys can hear. Uh, one of the biggest things for me was really counting the cost. Like, for someone to be so broke and be out of work and be a stay-at-home mom, I don't know how and why do I even invest so much money into some things. And some of the reasons that came to me was not holy, was not right. Like... Obviously, I'm a YouTuber, so I focus a lot on the visual of what my channel looks like, my background and everything, and God ended up showing me that I had exactly what I need at home, especially through my bookshelf and things, my, uh, my books and things. Like, I had what I needed, and now painfully as someone who bought most of these things i have to take it right back because most of my things came from the goodwill and i just hope and pray that you know someone has self-control um, i'm praying about that for others you guys who are watching and i just because my thing was like i told you guys it went from shoes clothes hair nails um trying different foods and restaurants that was a thing one time just wasting money but hold on you guys yes Any sauces for you? um no thank you i'm sorry no thank you You too, thank you. Um, I hate this. I hate how this street is made. So now I gotta go all the way around. Um, let me see if I actually can. Part. I'm right by Bella's doctor, I believe. But I have to go the other way to drop this stuff off to the Goodwill. Um, and then I gotta remember which Goodwill did I go to.